The 2019 experiment on Wigner's friend paradox challenges several core principles and assumptions underlying quantum mechanics and physics at large. By testing the interplay between quantum measurement, observer dependence, and objectivity, it calls into question the universality and coherence of foundational laws and interpretations. Below is a detailed examination of the specific laws, axioms, and theorems that are implicated. 1. The principle of objective reality. In classical physics, the principle of objective reality assumes that the properties of physical systems exist independently of observation. This principle is closely tied to Einstein's realism. Reality is observer-independent, meaning all observers agree on the state of a physical system. Bell's theorem. Though Bell's theorem already challenged local realism through the violation of Bell inequalities, the 2019 experiment adds a deeper layer by suggesting that observer-dependent facts can exist, undermining even non-local forms of realism. Implication. The experiment demonstrates that quantum mechanics does not necessarily adhere to objective realism. Different observers can hold mutually contradictory but valid accounts of reality. This suggests that reality, as described by quantum theory, may be fundamentally subjective or observer-dependent, violating classical assumptions of objectivity. 2. The universality of the quantum superposition principle. The superposition principle states that any quantum system can exist simultaneously in a combination of states until measured. In Wigner's friend, this principle is extended to macroscopic systems, including observers. Implication, in the 2019 experiment, Wigner's perspective treats the friend's measurement apparatus and consciousness as part of a quantum superposition. If this is valid, the universality of superposition implies that there is no fundamental boundary between the quantum and classical worlds, contrary to the Copenhagen interpretation stance on classical quantum separation. If universality holds, even macroscopic observers and their experiences are subject to quantum effects, challenging classical models where observers are considered independent of the system being observed. 3. Wave function collapse and measurement problem. The wave function collapse is central to quantum mechanics, describing the transition from a quantum superposition to a single outcome during measurement. Different interpretations of quantum mechanics treat collapse differently. Copenhagen interpretation. Collapse occurs when a measurement is made, with the observer playing a key role. Many worlds interpretation. Collapse is an illusion. All possible outcomes exist in separate branches of the universe. Objective collapse theories. Collapse occurs as a physical process independent of observation. Implication, in the 2019 experiment. For Wigner, no collapse occurs until he measures the friend's system, treating it as a superposition. For the friend, collapse happens when they observe the photon. This suggests that collapse may not be a universal process but instead relative to the observer's frame of reference. This challenges collapse-based interpretations, like the Copenhagen view, and raises questions about whether wave function collapse is a subjective phenomenon. 4. Observer independent measurement outcomes. Measurement is central to quantum mechanics, governed by the Born rule, which predicts probabilities of outcomes. The assumption of observer-independent outcomes is implicit in the idea that measurements yield objective facts. Implication, the 2019 experiment suggests that measurement outcomes may be observer-dependent. For the friend inside the lab, the photon has a definite polarization state. For Wigner outside the lab, the system, lab plus friend plus photon, remains in superposition. This directly challenges the Born rule's application as a universal predictor of outcomes, as it assumes consistency across all observers. It suggests that quantum facts might be contingent on the observer's context. 5. Locality and non-locality. The experiment relates to the non-local nature of quantum mechanics, where entanglement allows correlations between distant systems that defy classical intuitions of locality. Implication. While Bell's inequalities already rule out local hidden variables, the 2019 experiment suggests something deeper. If two observers, Friend and Wigner, can disagree on whether an event has occurred, the underlying reality of the event becomes unclear. This implies that quantum non-locality extends to observers themselves, not just the systems they observe, further complicating interpretations of entanglement and the structure of reality. 6. Consistency of quantum theory with classical logic. Quantum mechanics traditionally preserves the principle of consistency, where all observers can agree on the results of experiments. This principle aligns with classical logic and is assumed by interpretations like quantum Bayesianism, cubism, and objective state collapse theories. Implication, 
The 2019 experiment suggests the possibility of observer-dependent inconsistencies, meaning that quantum theory may not be consistent across different perspectives. If quantum mechanics allows for contradictory accounts of the same event, classical logic itself is undermined, and the theory may need revision to accommodate non-classical logic frameworks like relational quantum mechanics. 7. Quantum to Classical Transition The quantum to classical transition describes how macroscopic systems emerge from quantum laws, often explained through decoherence, interaction with the environment suppresses superpositions, leading to classical behavior. Measurement Problem how quantum probabilities become definite outcomes. Implication, the 2019 experiment challenges the decoherence model by showing that macroscopic systems, like the friend, can remain in superposition depending on the observer. This undermines the notion of an absolute quantum to classical transition and raises the question, does classical reality exist objectively, or is it an emergent, observer-dependent phenomenon? 8. Scientific realism and empirical verification. Physics assumes that empirical results are reproducible and observer-independent. This assumption underpins the scientific method itself. Implication, the experiment undermines this by showing that observers may disagree on the outcome of a single event, making the concept of reproducibility ambiguous. If measurement outcomes depend on the observer's frame of reference, the foundations of scientific realism are destabilized. There are also broader theoretical impacts. 1. Revising interpretations of quantum mechanics. The experiment supports relational quantum mechanics, RQM, and cubism, which posit that facts are relative to observers, over interpretations like Copenhagen or many worlds. It challenges objective collapse models by suggesting that no universal collapse occurs. 2. Framework for observer-dependent theories. New frameworks may be needed to reconcile quantum mechanics with observer dependence, possibly involving category theory, contextuality, or higher dimensional logic. 3. Implications for quantum gravity. If observer dependence holds, it may influence the integration of quantum mechanics with general relativity, which assumes observer independent spacetime structures. The 2019 experiment on Wigner's friend paradox directly questions the universality of quantum laws, the objectivity of reality, and the coherence of measurement theory. It forces a reconsideration of foundational principles, including the superposition principle, wave function collapse, and the assumption of objective measurement outcomes. These findings suggest a need for a deeper theoretical framework to reconcile quantum mechanics with the observer's role, potentially reshaping our understanding of physics at its most fundamental level.